Welcome back to a series on this channel where we rebuild the TFL network on NIMBY Rails. We're currently going down the list in alphabetical order, even though I've kind of messed up the order a little bit, but we, we won't mention it. This is the sixth episode, and today we're going to be building the Elizabeth line. Yes, it's not a tube line, but it is on the TFL network. So let's get into it. So last week we built the DLR and the cable car, which the cable car made an amazing 8,000 in money. It may be a bit minus in a minute, but these all aren't expected to get the money back in a day. So start all the way over in Reading. And we are going to start off by using the platform all the way up here. So we're going to make the platform just 300 meters here at Reading Station. And we're going to be curving this into over here and go all the way along. So we're going to be going all the way down the line just as per usual. So we're just going to put in each station just like this. We're going to very quickly line these two up. So we will be revisiting this area at some point. So we're going to continue going down the line just like this. But yeah, we will be revisiting all of this when we eventually get onto the national rail where the GWR also uses this line into Paddington. So after Twyford the next station would be in Maidenhead. So we're going to put the station just down here. So we're just going to also go back down towards Twyford here. Just so we can match up these two lines. And the next one will be Taplow. And Taplow station would just be here. So these two aren't exactly that far between each other. Unlike the others. And we're just going to go into Tamplo like that. Also, just going to move that a little bit like that, so there's a bit more space for the GWR. Our next one will be Burnham, which will just be here. And just like the last two, this is also not that far from each other. Then after Burnham, the next one will be Slough. And then Slough Station will just be like that. I also just realised Burnham isn't actually that far away from Slough. I thought it was like further out. And then we're just going to continue like this into Slough. And then next one will be Langley. Which will be just here. And then we just go straight through here. And into Langley like that. And then next one will be Ivor. And then we just, just like that. And then next one will be West Drayton and it's just over here. And we go back over to Ivor and we just put this in, just like this and into the station like that. 
And now from here, we go all the way over to Hazen Harlington, which is just over here. So now we're just going to put this a little bit towards the middle, like here. And then add it into the station like that. Whilst I am also here, around about here, I'm going to curve this off. And then keep this on a viaduct just like this. And then I'm going to curve it over just like this. Put it over towards the ground and then into a tunnel just here. Now here we're going to go over to terminal 5. Just add that in. We are also going to go over to terminal 4. And we're going to go all the way up here. And add in Heathrow terminal 2 and 3. And now from here we can just add in the two lines just like that and then add in this one and now from here we can just add this in just going through just like this and then we've got all three Heathrow stations connected up with the main line here. So the next one will be Southall, which will be just here. So we're going to take that out of the station, bridge it across that little river, go as far as here, bridge it over this one too, and continue on our way all the way up to Southall like this and after Southall we will be going over to Hanwell just like this and then we just move all the way up like this under this main road and all the way up like that I am also just going to move this slightly over a bit. The next one will be West Ealing, which will be just here. And we just put this through here. I'm also just going to move this up again. And now from here, we are going to go all the way up to Ealing Broadway. We're just going to put it in just like this. And this will go in like that. From here, I'm also going to cut this off for the GWR. And then next one here will be act in the main line. So we are just going to do this. And follow the bottom. So the GWR will move up here. Go straight past. So now from here, I'm going to go all the way over to Royal Oak over here. And because I didn't leave enough space for the cross rail here, I'm just going to have to do it from here. It will then connect up with Acton Mainline Station. So this will then go round because it comes up and then it goes underground before Westbourne Park and goes to this side and we're going to just do it like this and then move all the way up to where I've done it there. So now I'm going to go 
go all the way over here and just here I am going to put in Paddington just like this underneath all of the current ones and I'm going to curve just around like here and connect up like that. So the underground Paddington station is done. So now I'm going to go all the way down like this and go up to Bond Street. Just like this and go all the way over to Tottenham Court Road as well. And then connect these two up. And then from here, we are going to go over to Farringdon. So I'm going to go like this. Just connect it up like that. So it's going to go up, then around into Farringdon like that and go all the way over to Liverpool Street and then put it as far as I can from here something like that just so at least there is a little bit of a connection at Moorgate and then at Liverpool Street we're going to go across like here so we can then go up So now we can do this and I'm just going to do the bit through Canary Wharf first. So we're just going to put in Canary Wharf National Rail and then go through here just like this and from here we're going to go up through here and whilst we're here we're also going to just put this up like that and just like this also going to put in custom house station just here I'm going to just put it like this and then I'll connect up into there then I'll go through in this gap and then in like there then it's gonna go through like this like that and it's going to appear back out here and then go all the way across here and then from here we go back into another tunnel all the way up to Woolwich which will be just about here and then we're going to just go through like that and then from here I'm just going to do this so the Elizabeth line will come back out just about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this a little bit higher up like this. And just do like this. And then we're just going to go all the way across and into Abbey Wood here. And just like that, we have the Reading line all the way up to Abbey Wood and the Heathrow branch is done as well. So we will only need to do one part now. And from around here, we are going to be curving off and we'll be wanting to take this curve here. And then we want to continue like this. And 
And we want to start curving up from there. Because we want to get into this gap here. And we're going to just put this up like this. And then it go onto a viaduct. And just go up to Stratford like this. And then like that. And we're going to go over to Maryland. Which will be in this spot here. will be just like that and then we're just going to go through to forest gate there we go and then we're gonna go through to manor park And from here, we need to go all the way over to Ilford. So we're going to want it like that. And then go on like this. And from here, we want to go to Seven Kings, which is just here. And through just like that. And from here... We just want Good Maze here, and then Chadwell Heath just up here, and then go along like this, and then across through here, straight all the way through to Rumford. And we connect Rumford, and we continue back down the line. And then we go up to Gidea Park. Just like this. And then we continue off. To Harold Wood. Just like this. And we continue all the way up to Brentwood, which would be just here. And we're just going to follow this all the way up to Brentwood, just like this. And then around the bend into Brentwood. And then a one station to go. All the way up to Shenfield over here. Which will be just there. So we're going to need to put through here and into the station just there. Also just going to move this a bit like this. So it'll sit a bit better. Maybe do it like this. So it's just that little bit better to get in. And that will be the entirety of the Elizabeth Line network. What I am also going to do is I'm very quickly going to fix this because I put this all up on the viaduct, which I shouldn't have done. So then we're going to pull this back down. And then put in the station again just here. And then at least then it's not going to annoy me. And now it's fully done. 815 million. It has costed us to build the entirety of the Elizabeth line. So at the minute, this is currently our most expensive build on the entire TFL network so far. And it's no surprise we do go from all the way from Reading all the way up to Shenfield and Abbey Woods. Obviously it'll be the most expensive. 
but it just beats the circle line by 104 million and also beats the central line by 111 million as well so what we're going to go is we're going to build all blueprints we're going to go onto lines we're going to do the elizabeth line and then we're going to start off with reading to abbey wood so currently the reading to abbey wood line has a two trains per hour service which i did not know so we're just going to go all the way through into paddington to bond street tottenham court road go through just like this and go into abbey wood and then go back through the line so now what we are going to do is we're going to put in the class three four five we we'll put in one train just see how many trains we need we'll probably need about three more 33 minutes practically one every half an hour which is what we are looking for now what we're going to do is we're going to clone the line and do maidenhead to abbey wood so here i'm going to start off with abbey wood all the way over to maidenhead i'm going to take it out so i can replace it by the east platform and then i can work my way down the line i'm not sure why i built into the platforms at uh, Paddington when I haven't done it for the Liverpool Street either which would follow which what I would have to do is curve it off here and have it bridging up all the way over the central line and through here into Liverpool Street but now that is done basically why I had to get rid of half the line is because if I start at Maidenhead it might mess it up but from here we are now going to do copy the reading to abbey wood one and we're going to do terminal four to abbey wood so we're going to just remove these and then start here and just add them in then we just take these ones out and add into terminal three and then we will be there so i have just added four trains onto the maidenhead to abbey wood because that's also two trains per hour and it's bang on 30 as well i'm also going to do is add in three trains on here and it's also bang on 30 minutes so that's good so i'm now going to copy this one because this is also going to be terminal five so we're going to remove that add that in then put that above that and then that will be just like the same so you should add in three trains onto there and it's also bang on 30 minutes it's a shame how every single one is perfect but that one is actually kind of annoying me now but now we are going to do the elizabeth line from shenfield to paddington we're gonna go from all the way up here this is eight trains per hour And it's gonna go through just like this. That's obviously not going to connect. And it's gonna go into Paddington, then it's gonna come back out and then go through. And then through just like this. And just like that is done. We're looking for eight trains per hour, which is every seven and a half minutes. And I've got it to seven minutes and nine seconds, which is close enough to seven and a half minutes as we can. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put all of these into passenger service. And then we'll come back in exactly a day's time to 12.45 and see how much money did this make on its first day. And now we are a full day advanced and it is time to see how much money the Elizabeth line made in total. 
we can still see that the DLR is still not making money between Tower Get and Beckton. As you can see, the Elizabeth Line T5 to Abbey Wood isn't making a lot of money, but it's still profit at the end of the day. T4 to Abbey Wood is making nearly half a million. Reading and... Oh, I spelled Abbey Wood wrong there. Well, I did. Okay, no mind. That's actually going to annoy me. Them two making just over a million, and Shenfield to Paddington making a 1.3 million in total. So we're just going to very quickly add this up. So 1350, 517, and 801, 622, 603, 698, 438, 047, and 17,519. It means 3.2 million in total for the Elizabeth line is also up on screen now. This also breaks the record for most profit in a single day, just outperforming the district line by just under 100,000. That margin is incredibly small, but we now have the first technically National Rail line on the series. Anyways, I appreciate you all watching this video. We now have the Elizabeth line done. So we've already got the routes done for that. So we just need to add in the train. So next week's NIMBY Rails video is going to be short. But after that, on the 9th of May, we will so that should bring in a lot more money as well and it will also bankrupt the cable car and maybe canary wharf as well but we will see and i will see you all next in another video goodbye